Good afternoon, guys. Welcome to my channel. This is Dr. P. Uh, today, we I'm discussing a very interesting topic, and it's a topic that touches uh, all women, especially those women who want to get pregnant or those who want to get pregnant in later life. So, as we said, the for most women, the ability of them to be to be to, to get pregnant successfully is mostly when in their in their late teens and in their late twenties. As I said, by the time you get to age 30, the fertility decline. And this decline becomes more worse when it get to early 30s and uh, 45 years of age over. So by the time you are about, about 45 years of age, the ability to get pregnant declines so rapidly, so fast. So again, as I said, the best age, the best reproductive years of women is in their 20s. But most women, because of education or because of uh, financial situation or in pursuit of material wealth or because of other engagement, they delay their pregnancy until in their, in their late 30s. But without realizing that fertility decline as the age uh, increases. But unlike men, you can't compare men with that of uh, women. Men continue to produce sperm throughout their life. But unlike women, women is born with they are with their entire egg containing the follicles. And these eggs, of these eggs, you have about 800, 800 of, of this egg, you have about 300,000. That's what they are born with. And of, about, about, out of that 300,000 egg, it's only about 300 eggs that are used throughout their reproductive years. So majority of these follicles that are containing this egg Degenerate. This is what we call uh, atresia. So, as we said, age affects uh, the quality and the quality, the, qu the quality and the quantity of uh, women egg. So, as you get older, other issues come in: abnormal chromosomes, such as Down syndrome. Some some cases they have the risk of having miscarriage. Some have uh, preeclampsia. So there are a lot of uh, fertility issues. Some have fibroid, some have endometriosis that will affect uh, the fertility of this uh, woman. So for healthy couples, healthy couples, their best time of reproductive years, as I said again, is in their twenties and in their in their twenties. It could be either early twenties or in their late twenties. That's the best time of their reproductive year. By the time you get in your thirties. As you said, theory has stated that in your two, in your thirties, one in four women in their in your tw in your twenties, one in four women will get pregnant successfully in a single menstrual cycle. But by age forty, only one in ten women can get pregnant in a in a single menstrual cycle. Uh, because as the age increases, there are risk of uh, complications. So that's why it's, it's advisable not to delay pregnancy, you know, because that's why most people, women, even though they are, they are not ready to get pregnant, we all know that most times the doctors, they give them prenatal vitamin with folic acid because this will prevent uh, 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 neural tube uh, dif defect, bed defect, which everybody knows about that. But for those women who are waiting to get pregnant in later years, the result of in vitro fertilization. But in vitro, so the sources of an in vitro fertilization depend on the ages. Because as the age increases, the sources of in vitro fertilization is going to decline. This is because the quality and the quantity of egg decreases. When you are in your, in your, in your, in your uh, late 30s, it's going to decline. But it gets worse when you are uh, in your late 40s. So the surgery is going to decline because the quality and the quantity of it decreases by 45 years is so worst. That's why in most cases people will resort to having a donor egg because you, if you are able to get pregnant in later years because of your age. But for those who wish to get pregnant in later years who are still very young in their 30s, they may resort to what we call cryopreservation. -pres whereby they have to frozen their egg, and these eggs will be used later in life. 
So, so that at the time when you are ready to get pregnant, the doctor can the, the, your, the fertility specialist can utilize the egg and fertilize it with the sperm. So, as I said again, the older you are, the, the more the more difficult for you to get pregnant. So, the earlier you make your decision, the better. So, this is an even interesting topic, but as so, it's very very important for women to take it seriously. But as for men, men continue, as I said before, men continue to produce sperm throughout their entire life. Even though the quality and the quantity of sperm decreases with age, but there has been no study that at, no, at any age that men cannot produce a child. No matter the age of a man, they can continue to produce a child, especially those that are very, very healthy. But as for women, as I said before, they are born with about 300,000 follicles. Those are follicles containing the eggs. Of all these follicles, only about 300 will be utilized throughout their reproductive year. So it's essential to make your decision on time and make it wisely. So don't forget, if you love this channel, don't forget to subscribe. This is Dr. P. And give me a thumb up. I'll see you again. Bye.